All right, welcome everybody. Today's video, we are in Safanburi, and we are at Wat Praha Si Ratana Mahahat, I believe is what the uh, temple is called. It's a mouthful. Anyway, the Mahahat, you see it all over Thailand. I believe that means like, uh, like the temple of the relic or something like that. Anyway, uh, this is a, uh, a famous temple from this region, and it dates back to about the 15th century or so. And kind of the, uh, the hallmark of it is this uh, jetty, or that big stupa right behind me. This, uh, this temple here was built by one of the Thai kings from the Ayutthaya era, and uh, it was abandoned after the fall of Ayutthaya in 1767. It, when the Burmese sacked the city, it just sent everything into chaos and we're uh, we're not too far away from Ayutthaya you know as far as the crow flies over to here so you know the uh, the destruction of that city caused uh, ripples all through this whole region so this was abandoned and then it was just basically left out here into the jungle and it had a lot of people that would come over here and loot it and take like these uh, tablets there's some really famous tablets that were from here and they looted all that stuff and uh, then this temple was later restored again in the uh, Bangkok era. So we're gonna look around and uh, this temple has a little bit of everything. It has a big chedi, has some uh, cool old Buddhas. It even has not one, but two reclining Buddhas. So we're gonna see what all is here. And uh, let me tell you a little bit about what I know and let's enjoy this. So this temple has a mixture of the new, these are the new halls, and then it has the, uh, the old part. It has kind of a cool Ayutthaya style building here, has the Weehan, and the Weehan has just tons of old Buddha images, but that is locked up. Same as this little hall is locked up here, and then it has the, uh, the main prong in the middle, and a couple other little chetties all around it. And then it had the, uh, like the cloister, the walkway that went around it. And then the old ordination hall is back over there. And then the crematorium. So let's go into a couple of these little buildings. And the last thing we'll look at is that big chetty because it's uh, pretty impressive. And this is the part of the new construction. And this is one of the little shrines that the Thais come over here and they go in. So this is uh, like a famous Buddha image and the people will come over here and uh, stick the gold leaf on it and it's kind of some cool styling you can see they have like a little platform right there where the people can go up and uh, stick the gold leaf on it and then they have some other images over here the same thing and then as it's uh, kind of what you see a lot in Thailand is they have this uh, coffin here and this is one of the famous abbots so he's in that little coffin. This is the new ordination hall, and it's the uh, Bangkok styling. You can see the marker stones all around, and then the, uh, the work they did over all the windows, and then the three-tiered roof, kind of the normal stuff you see out of the uh, modern temples. What's cool about it is it's all kind of worked in here. There's the old original you know, temple wall and it's not a whole lot is left of it. It's just kind of down to the base. And then there's uh, one of the reclining Buddhas. We'll go over there and we'll check out the two reclining Buddhas and that little wee hand next. Let's look in this ordination hall. Now what's a shame in here is uh, they don't have any murals. It just has the, the main Buddha with the two little Buddha praying towards it. And it has the, the red ceiling with little flowers and it has the window shutters. And it's kind of a, just a simple hall, nothing fancy. It just has a nice Buddha image and the, the ties will come over here and do some stuff. Yeah, to me, this is one of the most interesting buildings here. It's an Ayutthaya style building. I love the little porches and everything, but it's uh, unfortunately locked up. Now they keep most of everything locked up here because they've had an issue with people you know, coming over here and looting and stealing, which is a real shame. And then you have a small little chetty right next to this building. 
And then around that main prong, you have all these little buildings that are around it that uh, they've built to cover the little Buddha images that are on the corners. And then over here is the old Weehan, which is pretty big. And then uh, looks like here used to be some uh, chetties and now there's trees that have kind of overgrown them. And here's one of the reclining Buddhas. It has a sign up over the reclining Buddha, but I'm not sure what it says. It's all in Thai. But here is the first reclining Buddha. Now it will look a little different in the face than the other one. We'll take a look at the other one in a second. It's kind of interesting. He's resting on his hand, but he has his head off of his hand. Now these are made out of brick. So they form the structure out of the red brick. And then after that, they'll come and they'll put the plaster over it and give it its final shape. So this is the first reclining Buddha. And it has the Buddha image right here in the middle. And it has another little tiny shrine building over here. And then this is that old Ayutthaya style wee hand. And it's locked up. It has all the windows open so you can look inside and see the Buddha images. We'll stick our head in the, in the door, but it is, does have the padlock on it. And then this is the uh, little shrine here, it has some of the Buddha images sitting down. And then we'll look at that reclining Buddha next, and then that little hall over there. So let's stick our head in this, uh, in this little wee hand. Yeah, this looks fantastic inside here. You can see all these old, old Buddha images. And then has the main Buddha image right there. Yeah, that is really nice. It's a shame that they have it locked up, but they have to do what they have to do to keep people from uh, stealing all this stuff. And you can see it's just open, kind of has uh, a lot of windows. It looks like some murals and stuff around, and then just the wooden ceiling. All right, so let's go and let's look at that other little uh, reclining Buddha now. And this is looking in one of the windows. So you can just see the rows and rows of the old Buddhas. And here's that little shrine. And then the second reclining Buddha, just under this little tiny hall over here. And it's open. So you can see this one here is a little different. His chin is a little bit different. And uh, the way he's holding his hand is a little bit different. So this is kind of a nice look at the, uh, the close up. Yeah, I'm not sure why they have two reclining Buddhas. I guess it just gives it kind of the balance. But that's it. And then you can kind of look over towards the, the prong. And then here's that little wee hand with all those Buddha statues. Okay, so let's go over there and let's look at this little prong and then we'll look at the, or that little chetty and then we'll look at the center. Then they have uh, a Buddha here and then they have that chetty, which has been restored fairly recently. You can see they've put the new plaster work on it. They didn't restore it all the way. They've kind of kept it looking like that. But you can see they have like little lotus flowers up there. And then this would have been a notch right here for like their, uh, their Buddha image. And then it's sitting right next to another fantastic little Ayutthaya hall. Now this one here is locked up, but they're, uh, they're restoring it on the inside. But one of the windows is open, so we can stick our head in the window and see what it looks like inside. And then they have another one of those four buildings around that cloister. And then there's that center prong. We'll go up there here in a minute. And then they have some more little chetties. Yeah, this temple is really, really nice. Yeah, let's stick our head in here right quick. Okay, so this is the little tiny hall. And all they have is just the Buddha here. It's all closed up. You can see they got some paint and stuff. And they're uh, restoring, they're painting the roof and the window shutters. And it's a shame there's no murals in here either. Okay, this is this little hall. There's not a whole lot more to see. Now all around this temple, you can see bases of chetties. So there must have been, I don't know, like a hundred of them or so. I mean, they're all over the place. Here's one of those little tiny buildings. They've restored it fairly recently also. It has some tie writing above the door. I'm not sure what it says. 
and then this is that center prong. Now this is definitely the highlight of the temple. This is absolutely amazing. Now it would have had two smaller prongs, one right there and one right there. And I believe this one here was another one of those that symbolizes like Mount Maru, which would have been the, like the uh, mountain that the gods were living on. And it would have been surrounded by milk. It's kind of like the, uh, like the Mount Olympus that the Greeks had. And it had this walkway that would have went all the way around here. And I don't know if it would have been covered, but it would have had a wall and there would have probably been some Buddha images and everything that would have been like facing the prong. Looks like there's some people coming out. So let's go up in there and let's look at that and we can see the detail. Let me zoom in a little bit. You can see the detail work all above there. You can see the Nagas, you can see like the guardians and you can see that plaster work that they put in there all the way up to the top, which is, uh, I believe that is like the staff of Shiva. That's up on top. You can see the pigeons flying around. Yeah, this is, this is really nice. And then the stairwell comes down here and it has like the prayer wheel and stuff on the side. Yeah, this is nice. I believe this, temp, this uh, prong was just constructed with, uh, with just the bricks. It wasn't uh, constructed with uh, like cement. And they say that this is the early Ayutthaya styling in this, uh, this prong. Which the, uh, the Thai king that built this was like Praha, Sumjet, something like that. I'll put his name down in the description. And this is why people climb up here, is to see this Buddha image that's in the little relic chamber. And this has been restored fairly recently also. You can see uh, how good a quality the wood is. I actually have a little termites right there. So the termites are gonna start eating on this. Oh, this is nice, you can't even see this. Okay. So there's a little prong right behind it. And you can see where the people have put the gold leaf. And then they have like one of the little tablets right there and over there. Yeah, this is cool. And there's some tie writing on the wall back there. Yeah, this is really, really nice. It's kind of hard to see. That's kind of close confines right here. Oh, very nice. And let's look at what it looks like from here looking back towards the temple. So this is that, that wee hand right there. So you can see right here, they would have had more chetties. This would have been that inner and that outer wall. And then it would have had these four buildings around on the four corners. And there would have been like a Buddha image in each of those. And then all out here would have been more chetties. There's that tree's coming out of one, there's another base. And then the uh, original wall would have been out over there. There's a Buddha just sitting out there next to a little tiny wee hand. And then some more Chetty bases. And then the old original ordination hall is back over here on the uh, west side of this prong. The ordination hall and the uh, wee hand are set up on the east-west axis, which they did that on all these temples. Yeah, this is, uh, this is really a nice place. Now this used to be the heart of the old Safanburi, this, uh, this temple right here. So the old city would have been all around here. And this would have been kind of the pride and joy of the town. And like I said, it was all abandoned after the fall of Ayutthaya. Okay, let's go over there and look at that one right there. So this would have been a little shrine. It has a pretty nice Buddha image in it. Looks like right here they had a tree at one time that was growing right here in the middle of it and they've cut it down. You can see it would have been open and these would have had the, uh, the columns going up to the roof. That would have been uh, supporting the, the roof with these walls. And it would have had that, like a, the little railing. And it would probably have been on both sides. And it would have been kind of an open air so that people would have been able to come here and uh, make merit and all of that. And there probably would have been like a little front porch and stuff. And then over here, some more of the little chetties that were surrounding it. And this is the last thing we'll look at here at this temple. 
This is the, uh, the ordination hall, the old original one. You can see the stones here. These are the, the marker stones or the buasima. And it looks like they've been all restored fairly recently. They're in way, way too good a condition for them to be, uh, you know, like sandstone and being 15th century and still surviving. And then out over there is more of the city, the original wall. And then a nice little prong over there. And then another one of those uh, little white buildings on the corner. But this is the, uh, the ordination hall. So what they've done is they've left it on the base. So this is the original footprint of the building. And they've just come in and they've built kind of this building. They've just left the walls open. So you can come here and you can pray to that, uh, that Buddha image. And it's just open. So they got pigeons and stuff that fly through here, which is no big deal. And this is the Buddha image. You can see the top knot and the hair roll. The eyes are kind of looking down. So it's a Ayutthaya styling. And it's in the, what, the subduing Mara pose. And then it has a couple more of the little ones here looking towards it. And then this is looking out right here. The back side is towards that center prong and uh, that little chetty over there, which is in nice shape. Now there's a little bit more to this temple. You got uh, the crematorium over there because it is an active temple. You got monk quarters, you got some other halls where they do the funerals and stuff like that. But uh, we're not really interested in those. We came to see this right here. And it's uh, definitely worth uh, taking a look at. All right, everybody. So that's gonna finish up our little visit over here at Wat Prasiratana Mahahat here in Sapanburi. This is a fantastic temple. It's a uh, 15th century temple that was built by uh, one of the Thai kings, they believe it was uh, Samdet Praha Boram Ratchanarat II or Chao Sam Praya. Uh, fantastic temple. This is uh, probably one of the most important things that you'll see over here in Safanburi. It was uh, abandoned after the fall of Ayutthaya during the Second War in uh, 1767. So if you can imagine, all of this was just immaculate, it was just fantastic. And then the city fell and then it was just abandoned. And so the trees and nature just kind of overran it. And then they came back in and they uh, restored it during the Bangkok era. And it is kind of what you see now. It has the little active part and then it has the historic part that's over here. So if you come over here, you definitely got to stop and take a look at that, uh, that massive prong that's there. And take a look at the other stuff. It's definitely worth uh, an hour of your time if you're over here. And if, you, if you're not, I mean, me, I jumped, in the, uh, jumped on my motorcycle and I came over here for uh, two hours just to look at this temple. That's what, uh, what I wanted to do today. So anyway, if uh, you're not in Thailand, like me, you can't just uh, do stuff like that, but you got to enjoy it through the video like this anyway. Now, if uh, this is your first time here watching my videos, this is what I do. I just go and I, uh, I show you things that I see and tell you a little bit about what I know of things here in Thailand. I just do, do this open narrative. So if you like this style where I'm not doing anything flashy, just uh, telling you what it is and showing you, then uh, stick around, subscribe, and leave me a comment. Tell me what you think and uh, smash the like button. Those things really help me. If you leave me a comment, tell me what you think, or if you, uh, have you been here, tell me that also, or if you want me to do something different, let me know. And then uh, smashing the like button. Those two things do me the most good, uh, other than uh, subscriptions. So from over here in Sefanburg, guys, until next time, remember, life is a journey. Enjoy. Enjoy.